Hello and welcome in, lovely Scorpio. This is going to be a collective, intuitive, general reading. Scorpio, this reading is for November 2023. This is going to be advice from your angels. This reading's for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So, Scorpio, wherever you have this, thank you for joining. I hope all is well with you, Scorpio. Let's get some general messages of what is the advice for Scorpio from the angels for this reading. Time out, Scorpio, okay? So right now, Scorpio, this is the time for, I feel, definitely recuperation. It says you are being so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, Scorpio, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So this is a feeling of definitely it's time to relax. It's time to breathe. It's a time for recharging your batteries, replenishing. A lot of heavy energy, Scorpio, playing out during the eclipse season where, Scorpio, you were definitely the one, Pluto and Scorpio, that had a very positive energy about this. So the eclipse energy, like I feel, it was a time here that you might feel drained. Okay, Scorpio, this is a feeling here of over it. You're over it something here and you're coming back into your power, but you definitely need to take a time out. Scorpio, I feel that you're getting ready to climb. I see an angel here elevating. So this could mean a promotion's on its way or there, I see a staircase. You can be moving forward or there's a move you're getting ready to move forward. For some of you, you have children. I'm seeing that the angels are guiding you forward to happier days are ahead here. So we do have Adriana and it's saying, I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps that I am communicating through your intuition, your thoughts and your dreams. So Scorpio, pay attention to your dreams at this time. There's going to be a lot of synchronicities playing out, a lot of signs that you're getting here. It's a feeling of letting go now, recovering, regenerating, healing from a situation. It's like putting yourself first now, okay? It's time out, like I feel. This is a time to, for self-care. This, um, this is about empowerment by not feeling selfish that you need to take a break. You need to take some time off, okay? The eclipse season was definitely very draining, okay? There was definitely a huge energy. But what I'm seeing now is there is a transformation, a change. You are being led to the answers that you're praying for. So your prayers have been heard, Scorpio, and it's saying relax right now. So this is about moving into more trust and surrender, right? Release was the name of the game here for your season. So it's letting go and going with the flow at this time. So Scorpio, let's see what we have. This is for Scorpio, wherever you have Scorpio in your chart, sun, moon, rising. This is going to be for Scorpio, for Scorpio, for November 2023. This is for Scorpio. Scorpio general messages. This is for general messages. Show me money for Scorpio. Money, prosperity. Look at this, Gemini. Scorpio, you could be connected with a Gemini or have strong Mercury and Gemini here. The card that comes out is telling me this is more focused on love. So this can be about coming into alignment. There's a conscience awakening, Scorpio. With Gemini, this has to do with a lover or someone that's separated from you, someone that you're in a separation or there's a choice that needs to be made here, Scorpio. It feels like whatever this is, this is about coming into alignment with a decision or a choice that's based on somebody here that is at a distance from you. You have the archangels coming in here. So I feel that you're receiving clarity or you're receiving the answer that you need, okay? So if you see, this is the tree of, of knowledge and this is the tree of life. It seems like the two of you here have a connection where there's been an imbalance, okay, between the both of you, lovers, okay? There's a union or a relationship where the both of you, I feel, are consciously, okay, one of you is seeking clarity, I feel, and the other here is definitely Scorpio. There's been a change, a major change, okay? 
And this is where I feel you're over it now. I feel that whatever's coming in, Scorpio, this is you coming into your power. Yeah. You're making a conscious decision when it comes to a relationship, a partnership, a soulmate, a connection of yours. Two, two. So we have two of cups, two of pentacles. 22 is the master number here. King of swords, ace of cups, and king of wands. For some of you, like I feel, there's a choice between two suitors here. Okay, Scorpio, it feels like there's been an ending, a transformation, something here ended, okay? I feel that you're going through the processing right now. I feel that right now there's a choice here and there's something here that could have been out of balance. I feel, Scorpio, that the both of you, two of cups, there's a coming together, okay? It's a feeling here of sharing your emotions from a heart level. It's like there's something here that you hold close to your heart, something you hold close to your chest, okay? The two of cups is a feeling of mutual attraction, okay? A partnership, a sacred union, a soulmate here. It feels like with the two of pentacles, you're trying to gain your balance in the situation here. I feel Scorpio overall, there's a feeling of your patience is paying off. There's a feeling of a throwback here, okay? It feels like you're 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 going back to a situation where you were in a connection with someone from your past, okay? There's someone here that could be resurfacing, Scorpio. Or there's a feeling here of you attracted to someone here, okay, from your past. It's a feeling of a throwback, looking at somebody here that you are still attracted to. There's still a fire, a feeling of a feeling of um wanting to make an impulsive decision, okay? With the King of Swords, I feel that you're getting very honest with your with your true feelings in the situation. There's something here that I feel with the King of Swords that you've learned your lesson in, man or a woman. It feels like there's somebody here that's cold, detached, cut off, okay? It feels like also here with the Ace of Cups right in the middle of the reading, okay? There's this opportunity that you want to reach back, Scorpio. It's like going back to someone from the past having a choice. It's like someone here that a situation overall, I feel Scorpio, that you have like a feeling of you drifting apart from someone here. Okay. It's like you've been outweighing uh, the pros and cons. It's like you're either in or you're out of a situation. Two of pentacles. Okay. It's like a feeling here of trying king of wands. Okay. King of wands is very determined. It's a go-getter energy. It's someone you're very attracted to, okay? There's mutual attraction, I'm feeling, in the situation here overall, Scorpio. So we're going to leave your card out. Yeah, mutual attraction, queen of wands. You have one suitor here that I feel the both of you, okay, still are definitely attracted to one another, okay? It feels like there's been an ending here, okay? But there also feels like there's a rebirth or a transformation going on between the both of you. There's a feeling of releasing, okay? Doing a lot of releasing, like I feel. Releasing is the name of the game here. There's someone here that it could have been a feeling here where you have um, somebody here, a suitor, that's very confident equally like you are. You have this queen to the king of wands. This could be somebody here, Scorpio, <coughs> that I feel you're starting a new chapter on. I feel this is new romance. It feels like you're putting an end to a relationship here. And it feels like you're cutting ties with the past. And I feel that you're making your mind up about someone here. Someone here that I feel there's, like I feel, there's definitely someone here that still wants to work on this relationship. You have a suitor, an Aries, Leo, Sag. This could be someone you met at work. This could be someone you're collaborating with, someone that you're working with or learning from. It feels like there's more to learn about this person. There's a feeling of you find this person and this person finds you very mysterious. Someone here, like I feel, there's a lot of uh, attraction. Like if this is love, lust, this is lust. There's a lot of uh, flirtatious energy here. There's a feeling of somebody here that, that can be very reinventing, bringing something out in you that's new. It's like bringing back the fire, bringing back the passion, okay? Nine of Wands. It feels like there's a situation uh, overall where you're facing a situation where there's resistance or there's been resistance between the both of you, okay? Somebody here still wants to work on this relationship with you from the past here, Scorpio, is what I feel. 
<clears throat> so it feels like there may have been no strings attached in the past, okay? But I feel that there's definitely a new love offer on the table, Ace of Cups, that's coming in. So let's leave your card out here and let's clarify this reading for Scorpio. Let's clarify this reading for Scorpio. There's a very strong desire that's getting amped up. It's like the both of you have a strong desire to connect with one another. Okay, so I feel there's a very strong connection here. For some of you, this connection is very fiery, okay? It's like um, there's someone here that still holds a, a very big attraction, a lot of chemistry that's here between the both of you. And I feel you're getting ready to present a love offer. The lovers is Knight of Swords, the Hierophant, Venus, and Taurus, Three of Cups, Tent of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and a Judgment Call. And at the bottom is the Hermit, Virgo Energy. For some of you, there could be a very strong Virgo Energy. I feel that there's been a lot of silence, a feeling of somebody here not communicating with you. It feels like after a period of silence and and, and soul searching and a feeling here of communication coming in very quickly. Knight of Swords. This is somebody here who I feel is getting ready to rush in what could be what is hurtful words. A lot of hurtful words that's coming in. There's a change that's taking place here, okay? Somebody here is breaking their silence, okay? And Two of Cups Hierophant here. There's someone here that has a very strong belief when it comes to, 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 to traditional way of, of marriage or traditional way of relationships. Two of Cups. Okay, this is a soulmate here. There's someone here that I feel with the Hierophant energy here that it feels like there's a, a feeling of someone's receiving spiritual guidance here. Okay, it feels like somebody here has a lot of values when it comes to coming together in a sacred union or coming into harmony, okay? Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. It feels like Scorpio, there's someone here that's been going back and forth, okay? There is a Three of Cups here. There's a third party situation here. There is a feeling of definitely Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, friendships, your communities. These are a feeling here of definitely third party like situation, like three is a crowd. Two of Pentacles is a feeling of you trying to gain balance or adaptability when it comes to a feeling of raising your vibration, raising your frequency, three of cups also here. It's like a feeling of scattering your energies. These people have scattered energy in the three of cups. Someone here that you're associating with friends or groups or people, it's like these people here go back and forth. There's an imbalance here, okay, with these people. It's like they don't prioritize their focus on money or their, they don't prioritize their relationships right now. It feels like with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, somebody here wants something for the long haul. This is the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. There's a legacy of wealth and love, a family here, Scorpio. It feels like there's a new beginning that's opening up here with the Ace of Cups that's your heart's desire. Ten of Pentacles, this is marriage. This is a celebration. This is a feeling of something that's very, um, it's like passed on to generations. Someone here, like I feel the hand of the divine, the hand of God is bringing out a new beginning that opens up to Ten of Pentacles, which is rich, stable. It's a feeling here of success around a relationship. I felt with the King of Swords and the Knight of Cups, I feel you're being very clear. I feel that you have clarity of what direction to move forward because it feels like a romantic proposal is here, Knight of Cups. It feels like also someone here is very wealthy that's offering this love. There's a feeling here of somebody here having a large family, a family support, a legacy of wealth here. And it feels like you're making a decision to move forward, okay, with the Knight of Cups, okay? It's a feeling of somebody here who's, who's very charming, okay? So making a charming offer with the Knight of Cups and the King of Swords. Someone here is telling the truth. It's like being very honest, opening up conversations. It's a feeling of moving forward now in the direction to making an offer and love. It feels like the king of wands and the judgment. If somebody here is returning from the past, it feels like this fire sign 
that you're that you're in a relationship or some kind of agreement. It's like someone here that you could have had uh, a mutual relationship, a mutual understanding, where somebody here <coughs> was was eligible and liked the way that they were. This could have been somebody with the King of Wands that's still very attracted to you, and this person's returning. The King of Wands, whether it's a man or a woman, is Aries, Leo, Sag, and judgment is here. So somebody here wants to start over. It's like this person is getting ready to uh, take an approach. Someone's approaching you from the past here. This is someone here that, that definitely is coming back. Someone that wants to start over. And this is something that's going to change everything. I feel that this is communication, Scorpio, that's coming in after a period here of no communication. And things are about to move very fast. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. You're about to get passionate messages very quickly. Someone here could even be making a very quick appearance. There could be travel, okay? There's somebody here that definitely, like the Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio, this is about you knowing your worth, you working on yourself here. This is about self-care. For some of you, like I feel you're moving into a very stable position. I feel that you've been working very hard and there's a feeling here of taking time out, right? getting off the grid, being alone, right? A feeling here of, of definitely nurturing yourself. Self-care is here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit. You're looking for commitment here is what I feel. I feel that you're wanting something very stable, okay? It feels like with the Eight of Wands here, things begin to take off in work and money and finances. It's a feeling here of getting ready with uh, Sagittarius, like I feel Aries Leo. This is a feeling of Jupiter, Things begin to take off. This is about getting ready to make a swift change. Ace of Swords and clarity is definitely coming in. So I feel like there's clear messages that bring in the truth. Ace of Swords here. This is the helmet of salvation. This is about getting your crown back on. I feel for a lot of you, yeah, there's definitely Queen of Wands. Somebody here was definitely having an affair at work or somebody in a community this is a feeling of a karmic situation that's coming to clarity here, okay? It feels like this Queen of Wands with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, someone here is turning their head. Like, I feel this Queen of Wands, she's not looking for the truth. She's turning her, away, her head away from the Ace of Swords. So somebody here has been very dishonest. There's been a betrayal, Scorpio, when it comes to work, okay? There's been a very big ending here. It ended with a betrayal here. Like, I feel the worst is now behind you. This is karmic justice, Scorpio. Libra energy here. It feels like there's a situation that's closing out, okay? A new beginning is opening up with the Ace of Swords. So there's a feeling of getting clarity right now. A feeling of karmic justice here, okay? There was a betrayal here, Scorpio. I feel that there's definitely a new beginning and the worst is now behind you. I feel that divine timing is here, divine intervention, Sagittarius season. So from the 22nd, from the sun in November 22nd with the sun in Sagittarius, this is about you getting ready to explore your options. This is Libra energy here, Venus and Libra here. So Libra representing here, bringing balance, okay? This is about a feeling of fairness, a feeling of taking a balanced approach now. And divine timing is here. Like I feel, Scorpio, there's going to be a lot of re recovering four of swords. A feeling of uh, ending some kind of a mentally defeated energy where that it drained you. I feel that there's been a struggle here. I feel also here, there's a feeling here of you getting ready to move on, to move forward. Six of swords. There could be a relocation. There could be a transition taking place here. This is where healing begins now. I feel you're getting ready to move forward here. And it feels like you're taking time out right now. There's a recuperation. There's a time for rest, a time for recovery. Okay, Scorpio is what I'm feeling. But I feel that you're being led now to trust your intuition. Okay, this is a feeling of moving into trust and surrendering. Okay, letting go of a situation and definitely resting and recovering here. Communication is coming in. Clarity is coming in. I'm going to leave the reading there, Scorpio. Having problems with my throat, like I feel. 
Someone needs to clear the air here. It feels like a feeling of getting clarity now, getting in touch with your truth, reclaiming your power back, a huge change, a huge, a huge transformation that's taking place. But coming back to your power now, Scorpio. So there's a feeling of amped up. Things are getting amped up here, okay? A period is asking for rest to recover, to regain your strength back, to regain your energy. A feeling of motivation and driven is coming in. Rebirth is renewal with the judgment call here. So it's like making a judgment decision here, okay? So I'm going to leave the reading there, Scorpio. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you coming in in your general reading. If this reading resonated, I would be grateful. And I greatly appreciate your like, your support, and your share. Thank you very much.